And something that I didn't know was we need to pay tourist fee of around 10 ringgit per day. Oh, there is a Albaik. A government requirement. I was not aware of it. So you mean until 3 it won't be ready? Man, this train looks like... Uh, from far it looks like bullet train, but no, it's not. Good morning guys and welcome to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I just flew today morning from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, which was around 40 minutes flight from Singapore International Airport. So uh, we landed and I went through the visa on arrival uh, section. So visa on arrival is Indian passports are eligible for visa on arrival provided you come from a third country. Countries like Indonesia, Thailand and Singapore. If you guys are around in this country, you are eligible for a visa on arrival here in Malaysia. If you come from somewhere outside, then you need to have an e-visa or a sticker visa. So, yes. Officially, I made it to country number 15 of 197. Anyways, so I took the KLIA Express, the train from airport station towards the hotel where I'm living. So this journey is around 28 minutes. Then I need to change the metro towards another station. And then from that station, it's nearby. So they do have passes, and, but I took one-way ticket. I'm planning on renting a bike, so let's see how it goes. And these trains are beautiful. It feels luxurious. It feels like it just feels different, unlike uh, the one in Singapore. So yes, I'll, I can show you guys a little bit. Yeah, 
scale syndrome. And you can see the train. There you go. It's very, it feels luxurious, you know. So it's clean. And now we need to change the train to. Let me check where. I don't, I don't really. I don't really. a place called Pasarseni That's it to go past our Sydney. Left. Huh? I'll take the card out. Stuck in my pocket. Yeah, got it. So I need to exit and take the different. Uh, And for the next one, I take uh, one more ticket. Okay. So, yes, we arrived at KL Central. And now I need to take another ticket towards... Uh, where is the ticket counter? So, I will, I will take left, but I'll show you this uh, KL Central station. And here it says, Welcome to Malaysia. There you go. So I'll take the I'll take the train towards the next station, but I cannot find ticket counter anyways I'll just keep walking just keep walking until I find it I think I saw one ticket counter there this is big very big looks like a mall I'll show you guys the station. This is one part, and then this is another here. It's very big. So I don't really know. I think there is two lines. One is <coughs> blue, and one is red. I'll just ask them which uh, line do I have to take. Them. 
So I need to take a local transport. Basically, the train that I came in was express. Now I need to go LRT. Yes, this is LRT. Laluan Kelana Jaya. That's what it means. But there's a big line here. So let's just wait. So yes, I was waiting in the line, but he said uh, need to buy from the machine. So machine looks something like this. I just need to go one station actually. Where is it? Oh, so I'm here. I just need to go pass our Sheni. Okay, let's do this. I'm going towards Gombak. I need uh, pass our Sheni. Quantity one. The price is one ringgit thirty cents. Select payment mode cash. Accepted means of payment one. Okay. So I need to ex put money here. Yes, it went inside. Hopefully, I get the change back. Shit, I don't know what happened. So I put two ringgits. I don't have change. Let me cancel. Probably I lost it. Oh, processing your change, okay. Oh, it came back. So I think I need uh, change. Maybe let me let me ask someone. So I'll try in one more uh, in the next machine. Pass our seni. Okay. By cash. I need English. Here, yeah, this side. Did you put just one ticket? No, two. You put it together? Yes. I need to put separate. Yeah, you supposed to. Okay, no problem. We'll do it again. One by one, yeah. Cash. Finally, thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, I got my yes done. So there was uh, someone right next to the counter of mine. So she was kind enough to help me. Anyways, I got this. Uh, I got, you get this token. I think you just put it in one side and then you go. Yeah, you enter. It's like a, it's like a card. You touch it and this is where it goes. Gombak. Just one stop. Let's do this. Man, I, I actually put it... Uh, I put two ringgits together so the machine was not able to read. And she was like, put it separate. Anyways, embarrassing. <coughs> but it's okay, it's, uh, you learn from it. Now I learn something new. Now, let's get in the train and off to my hotel. So this one is local train. 
unlike the KL Express. So this one, the platform is really open. You can have a look here. Rapid KL. I think the next train will be in three minutes. So you can see the metro station here. Oh yes guys, our train has arrived. <coughs> you can see. Man, this train looks like... Uh, from far it looks like bullet train, but no it's not. Looks nice. I don't know if it's automated or if there's a driver. I believe it's automated. Yes, it's automated. Nice. I just have to travel one station. Okay, let's do this. So yes, we are inside this uh, LRT, local, uh, local metro, just I need to travel one station and then walk around 5-6 minutes. <coughs> Okay, so we made it to There's a lot of crowd So yes, we've made it to So yes, we've made it to Pasar Seni the stop where I had to get down. I got down. Now I need to exit. And I don't know on which side is the hotel. So let's see. Done. Terima kasih. Terima kasih means uh, thank you in Malay and Indonesian. There's only one exit. Let's see. I will ask. Hello, uh, China down? No. Straight, yes sir. So the address where my hotel is located is in Chinatown. One of the most, uh, you could say, hot spot or most happening one. My hotel is located there. It's just five minutes from Pasaseni metro station. And let me check the maps. So it's just four minutes by walk. Okay, I need to take right and then left. The entrance to the Chinatown looks like the the designs look like Chinese so I'm assuming that's the one you can see the enormous uh, Malaysian flag flying there I don't know if it's visible to you guys 
I can see it. So my hotel should be somewhere here inside. This looks like Chinatown entrance. So let me put the location from here. I don't know if it's inside this, but I'll put the uh, location. Oh, there is a I'll bake. Look, uh, <laughs> for once I thought it's the Saudi fried chicken. But it's not. So yeah, it's somewhere inside here, inside the Chinatown. You can see some cool artworks here. Okay, this is the Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. See, these things catch my eye. The famous fish head curry. I'm definitely going to come here. Let's see. One of the days you'll find me here. And you can see small shops here. There's coconut. And what's this? Putu bamboo. There are a lot of uh, small little shops selling selling different things. I think my hotel is here. I kind of I can recognize it from the picture. So here they're selling shisha. Uh, I mean whip. Fresh juice. Yeah, I think this is my hotel. Let me double check. Yes, perfect. Santa Grand. Hello. Yeah. Hi, good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, I have reservation. Just to inform you, they don't sell up ID, so we just do a registration on there. Sure. Can you have your passport first? But there's something inside, just be careful. What time will it be there? Normal check in time is 3, sir. Once the room is ready, you can check in. So, you mean until 3 it won't be ready? Yes, sir. Check out is 12, so we need time also to come. Ah, okay. Check out is 12, so I just. Yeah, I reached at 12. <laughs> but I can leave my baggage here, yeah? Sure. So, yes, I've made it to the hotel. I reached at 12, but uh, the check-in time is 3. I've got around 3 hours more, so I'll just go around and see. I'll check for the rent a bike. And if I rent a bike, I can park here, yeah? Yes, sir. For hotel guests, you can park here also. Here also. Okay, sir. I'll remove the email, contact number and signature. Contact number from? Your country. Huh? Your country also can send. Here in my country, yeah? yeah. So I just need to collect a Malaysian tourism fee for four nights, 40 minutes, sir. Okay. And what is it for? It's a Malaysian tourism tax. Okay. For the government there. So starting from 1st January, any travelers that come to Malaysia and check into a hotel, mm -hmm. they need to pay for one night is 10 ringgit. Mm -hmm. So if you say like more than four nights or three nights, you still uh -huh. have to pay how many nights paying? Ah, okay. So I'm for four nights. Yeah, Forty. So Forty minutes. Can I have some water if you don't mind? Thank you. So this is your logistics, so you can just come 
Alex Becky terus lagi sih. Tuan Bang. That's it, done. Yes, sir. Anything else? Yes, sir. That's all. I will give you a receipt, sir. Okay. Uh, what if I come at two thirty? Would it be ready or something? Or no, exactly. We can, we can try, right? Okay, guys. So. <laughs> Yes, we are in Chinatown, Kuala Lumpur. So I made it to the hotel and I'll show you guys the room uh, a little bit later when I check in. And something that I didn't know was we need to pay tourist fee of around 10 ringgit per day. So I'll be here for four, four days, so 40 ringgit. It's a government requirement. I was not aware of it, but now since that I know, I'm letting you guys know in case you guys are coming here. So yes, I'm back to my hotel. Uh, I didn't really rent a bike, uh, so I chose, I even asked the reception people, they said traveling in MRT is absolutely the cheapest one. I wanted to rent a bike because I wanted to go a bit farther places but let's see if there is trains going to there I will definitely choose the trains so we are here and I think my room number is 505 yeah it's right here okay let's go open Luggage in. Put the card. It's on. Lights on. AC on. Fan. Cool. Fan. done so this room is pretty nice as is compared to the one in the Singapore <coughs> and I've got nice views of the city here this is the central market so I have a central market view and I really don't know what is this looks like a very nice nice building marble building and the city there maybe this one's a mosque I don't know anyways so I'll just settle down so I've got a bed here and oh I have a nice table so I can do my editing and stuff here there's a coffee there's a kettle and locker to keep your uh, what do you say valuables this is a fridge a stool to sit a TV and look at the bathroom guys it's so big this is for shower this is for your sink there is dental kit again this your toilet and towels <coughs> this one is big bigger than the one in Singapore and yeah that's it from the room 2 videos I'll get back to you guys uh, in the evening in the next video till then take care and yes see you guys in the next video